What is going on guys, DBG here, and today we are going to be doing an, an interesting enough video. We are going to be using our absolute God squad for the last time in NBA 2K21, my team. Like obviously you guys are looking at it right here, like, well, you guys saw yesterday, there were no, there was only one video up and it was going over the gameplay blog. I mean, I'm sick of this game. I've been sick of this game for a month. I realistically have been sick of this game for a month, but like we've got about four or five more videos. I'm gonna use my favorite players. I'm trying to think what videos I have planned. So obviously dead blog comes out tomorrow. And I have my favorite players video. I have also got um my most hated players using my 2K20 team. Final current gen game, the final and final final game. And uh after that, there should be like two videos a day based on dev vlog and prepping for 2K22, my team, as soon as we hear about that. And after that, yeah, that's pretty much, that's pretty much going to be it for the year going into 2K22. So anyway, now let's get on to the squad. So this is our best team in NBA 2K22, 21, my team. So point guards, I mean, I love Hito. Like, he does one of my favorite cards in the game, so he does going in there. And I'm also going to use Simmons. Like, we ended the year with Simmons. Like, again, I sold so much of Dead White in my collection. Um, got a little bit empty together. And then cards were just cheaper. They were honestly just cheaper. It became super easy to snipe cards. Like, I remember, I think I found, like, a couple of D-Robs for, like, 20k and then sold them for, like, 80. It was a really weird one Um, with that. And then, like, cards obviously got cheaper. But we've got these two guys as our two point guards. He does Turkaloo. Just a beast, base 98, great defense, six foot ten. Ben Simmons, basically the same. Um, came out. Ben Simmons came out in April, still Garden game. Then, um, at the two, I'm going with Kawhi. Kawhi is a must. Like if you have Kawhi, you're running Kawhi in this game. Like he's absolutely unbelievable. Great, great shooter. Great rebounder. Great defender as well. Sorry, the headbands a little bit, a little bit moving in a weird way at the minute, but screw it, that'll do. Um, like he's an unbelievable defender, great shooter, Ray Allen base, Kawhi's fantastic. Small forward, I mean, I'm still using Ferry. Ferry is one of my favorite players in this game. I am a huge, huge fan of this Danny Ferry card. Honestly, I'm tempted to put in Jameson, but I'll go with Ferry. I'm power forward center. If you guys know the way I run my lineups, it's a very, very obvious duo here. It's going to be Kareem, and it is going to be a center position, Taco Fall. These guys defensively god tier. Absolutely god tier. And that's really what they're there for. They're there to play unbelievable defense, great length. Sorry, not defense. Offensively, they're god tier. Defensively, Kareem's god tier. Taco's not the greatest defensively on next gen. But they're there to rim run. My primary ball handler normally is Taco. Kareem, Kareem takes up the ball quite a lot. The only problem I don't is with Kareem is that I don't like his release, which is why I'm gonna probably have someone on the bench to come in just in case. Then off the bench at the two, I think it's a tough one. There's a lot of good two guards to run. They really are. Like, you look at these small forwards, almost all these guys are great. LeBron's great. And I'm, honestly, I think I'm just going to take LeBron. I think I'm just going to take LeBron. And then at the small forward position. Hmm. Do I want to go power forward to small forward? Not really. I think, is there any of these? I mean, I can use Jameson. Or I can use... I'm going to keep Jameson in the squad. Because I know I can use Jameson. I'm gonna start. I'm gonna start off the bench with uh, Cliff. You know, Cliff, LeBron, then power forward center. We're gonna have. I'm trying to think who plays power forward? Oh, Sim plays power forward. Sorry, Sim plays power forward. And center is gonna be Sean Bradley. Just stab two giants. And like, if that's not entirely working out, we've got. So obviously Jameson in there. Just in case we're struggling a little bit. Power forward or centers. We've got Bill Russell. Bill Russell power forward. Some people would definitely say you should be using Chris Tapps. I've never been the biggest fan of Chris Tapps. I still prefer um Pink Down Bobble to Invincible Chris Tapps in, in this game. It's a really, really weird one, but I mean, like I'm not gonna use a card just because he's at one higher overall. Or sorry, I'm not gonna use a card just because. Other people like him, that he's not in my endgame team. Where's Sean Bradley? 
Why can't I find Sean Bradley? Oh, there he is. Sorry. I don't know. I don't know why I was looking for Sean Bradley when I already have Sean Bradley. Um, Bill Russell. There we go. And then last up, I mean, it kind of has to be a point guard, doesn't it? I mean, Luca. Luca, realistically, he's just another, he's just Jameson, but he plays point guard. So yeah, this is essentially it, lads. This is essentially it. I was gonna say, oh, we have a lot of really good memories of this squad, but I mean, I really don't. I really, really don't like. Like I have more. Most of these guys I used very seldomly at the end of the year. I used a lot of guys throughout the year for like XP. There's no like emotional attachment to cards. Like obviously Yuda's Yuda is Yuda at the end of the day. But like it's not even like because I didn't play much there was no reason to play much 5v5 this year. Um there's no real sentimental value attached to any of these cards. Maybe Ferry. I played a lot with Ferry, I guess. Um grindy for Taco. But yeah, that's it's a bit weird when like it does it's not like last year I was like, oh I'm using these cards for the last time. Now I'm just like, you know what, I couldn't care less. I couldn't care less at all. Okay, so he's straight in. Oh yeah, the tunes. The tunes. I can't even listen to the chart. I can't even go to the charts playlist because it's just cover it's just feel it's just entirely Donda. Even the Irish charts. So we're going for Uh I go SmackDown vs. Row 7 playlist. I need to get. Actually, screw it. No, no, no. We're going to go 2011 David Guetta. Or 20. Is it 2011 David Guetta? The. Uh, what album is. What's the album's name? I need to find it here. Albums David Guetta. One more love. 2010 David Guetta. Goat LeBron, Goat Kareem, White. Basically, Goat Wiseman. We're there. The defense. So his team's. Pretty much the equivalent of mine. Okay, we're good. Terrible defense there. He deserves that. It's fine. So I can get into our five out. This is again going to be an absolute sweat fest because, like, it's September. Like, it's literally the first September. I'm 25 this month. Like, that is how long it's been. This is how late in the year it's been. It's mad. This time last year, it was like the 2nd of September was the day we all got the game. Like, it came out in the third as far as i'm aware either second or third when we all got the game no no not denver and you call another timeout oh it's annoying that is annoying i need to call another timeout because i went into denver freelance instead of hawks i i can't wait i hope next year you don't call a timeout for freelances like having to call a timeout for freelances just legitimately is one of the most confusing and pointless things Wait, what are the cheerleaders doing? This is creepy. This is so creepy. Is this always happen? They're not moving. They're just moving. They're just looking at the... This is so creepy. This is so creepy. I've never seen this before. Is this common? <laughs> I'm going to have to watch a minute of this because this guy won't back out of timeout. This is so creepy. Oh my god. I don't understand what this guy's doing. He's play. He's like play. He's waited through the last few timeouts. But this is so creepy. Is this a common thing that I just haven't noticed all year because most people just hit circle straight away? But this mo this is unbelievably creepy. Oh my god. Can they just go back to cheerlead like normal cheerleaders? Like can they just go back to cheerleaders? Like, I'm all for, if you want to throw in some male cheerleaders, fine. I'm all for that. But, like, it's just creepy. What's there at the minute? Dot him. Green. Ah, we missed. Oh, white, white right back. Let's go. I don't know why this guy waited two minutes on the timeouts. We're there. Oh my god, what the hell happened there? I don't know why my players, they were so evidently switched, why they wouldn't switch. It's you. Oh, we completely scuffed that one as two whites in a row. That's not good. That's not the way you want to start the game. You never want to start off with too many whites. 
Because if you start off with too many whites, you're never going to hit them at the end of the game. Oh my god. He's going to go Kawhi. I know he's just three hunting here with Kawhi. Great defense. We run. I don't know what, why he's doing it exactly, but he is. Dot corner. It's wide open. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Come on. About time we greened a shot. Wow. Okay, side to side. Side to side, we're all good. Okay, two on the ball. Easy pass into Taco. Did he just miss? I wasn't even looking. Did he just miss? And he came down and hit a white. Oh, oh my god. Did he just miss? Fine. Let's go. Come on. It's about time we hit a shot. We green again. Let's just lock in for two minutes and I'll win this game. Like, I am so not locked. It's unbelievable. Jump. Terrible pass. Taco, your ball. L2, L2, L2 post hook. We're good. Yeah. That's one thing. No shot aiming next year is going to be a... It's going to be a bit... Because I use shot aiming quite a bit. Like, even since they passed the stick, I still use shot aiming in quite a lot of situations. You know what? Good shot. I'm still going to half court, though. And I'm probably going to make it. Nope. Oh, get up. Get in, get in, get in. Okay, we're down four at the end of the first. Like, I have legitimately just been sitting here in confusion for most of this quarter. Um, I'm shook. I, there's no other way to describe it. I'm absolutely shook. As soon as... I'm actually going to start with Jameson. Um, at the four. As soon as that uh, dunk was missed, I've been, I've been shook. He's, I don't trust Bradley's jumper. Dot corner, stay. There we go. If he play, if he starts playing up in that weird hybrid two three three two three two thing, if he starts off in a two three and drags his player up to make it a three two, the corner's gonna be open every single time. It's a good shot. Like if he brings if he brings a corner up to a wing, I can get the corner open every time. It's mine. Oh, we missed. That's bad because I really like his release. It's me. Literally cannot give Hito an inch. Should have our ball. That's his shot. And it's green there for Simmons. Let's go. I am a huge fan of Ben Simmons jump shot. There's no better defender in the game than Cliff to guard Kawhi. There's no one better than Cliff to guard Kawhi. Let's go. Oh, I thought he was going to shoot it. That's not a good shot. It's five whites to five whites versus two. I knew things were going to go badly when I whited two to start the game. I knew things were going to go badly, uh, algo wise. Dot. Green that. Come on. Come on. Let's go. It's a big shot. Back to one. Terrible shot. I don't know why he pulled for that. It's fair though, he could have greened it. But Reem's not the greatest shooter in the world. 115 speed Simvular on the ball. Stay on him. Jump. That's not a good shot. Let's go. Sim, you just run. Honestly, I'm just going to start splitting them. And just attacking the basket with Sim. Like, if we can get stops before they set up into, into their zone, because this guy seems to be adamant on setting into his zone, I'll be able to get the open corners or open wings every possession, pretty much, off the break. As long as I get a stop, I'll get a wide open shot. His transition defense is woeful. It's fine. That should have been a bump. That's one of the things I'm scared of, like, is, like, how that wasn't a bump. And the fact is, they said it's going to be even harder to get bump steals now. Like, bump steals are more of a cause of people being dumb than bad game mechanics. Oh, it's me. Oh, yeah. Oh, 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 quick stop, Simmons. Let's go. There's a massive shot right there. Okay, recover that. That's, we, that's us, it's us, it's us. He's just sh literally shooting with hand in his face and it's going in. Catch the ball. Oh, my God. Thank you for hitting the white. We got a weird load up. He's not like I couldn't catch the ball. Let's go.
Good defense. Terrible shot. Run. To be fair, we should have turned it over there with the bump. I should have been a bump the previous possession. And we go and hit the white. I don't know what 2K have done, but every white's going in for both of us in this game. Oh, it's a good contest. Run. Just sprint, sprint, sprint. You got eight seconds to go. And they've left LeBron wide open in the corner. This guy's transition defense is non-existent. Like, we had a chance at a nine-point lead if we just weren't being dumb. And we were lucky he didn't hit the half-court shot. He still have a lead. He's Okay, I'm actually cool with that. Unless the AI gets a, gets an incredible steal. And that's the problem is that, like, and he just greens, he greens that, like. <sighs> Dude, just let me, don't let me get caught, stuck on that, come on. Okay, at least he's, that's twice the AI has ripped me! That's the annoying part about this, it's not him, it's the freaking AI. If he was pressing, if he was pressing square at the perfect time, I wouldn't actually be that annoyed. It's the freaking AI that's doing it. Let's go. It's a bad shot. He's literally shooting anything. Give me that. Okay, where shoot we hit a big white there? I don't even mind Kawhi and Kawhi. Literally, he's got to carry somewhere. Jump. Jump. Literally, I will give you the wide open, LeBron. I will give you that shot because you don't seem to want... That was dumb, actually, because LeBron can get take very quickly. Dribble it out. Oh, my God. Reem is absolutely clamping me right now. See, does he help off corner? Nope. We're gonna have to go for the post hook. We're gonna have to go for the post hook and it works. Let's go. Great defense, Mick. Dot corner. Oh, that's your three. That's a terrible release. Oh, we're hitting every white. In fairness, so was he. We're both hitting every single white, but that all came from good defense. Great defense, Mick. Kawhi's open, actually. He's going to hit Kawhi. Ha! Great defense, Mick. I should have been a steal. Jump. Great hand. Let's go. Can you please green, Danny Ferry? Or just shoot a fourth white in a row? Oh, that's not good by me. Good steal. Dunk that. Don't miss again, Taco. All right. 13 point lead. I think we should be good. Unless Kawhi starts cooking me, we should be okay. We've done an unbelievable job on defense since Kawhi's got take. We've done an unbelievable job here on defense, and Kawhi goes and greens with 27. I mean, it's post hook time. Kawhi can't guard Taco. It's post hook time. Kawhi has completely clamped his clamped his Kawhi in this quarter. He's literally shooting. He's not even trying to get open. He's just pressing square. He's just hoping he's open pressing square. I literally am get cannot shoot with Ferry right now. Okay, maybe he'd open his shot with 98. Nope. We cannot green with 98 right now. And he just hit that. He shot that. Like, all right, you do you. That's all. I, that's the only way I can. Just, that's the only thing I can say is you do you. If you're gonna shoot that, shoot that. I guess. Oh my God, Mick, can you green? <laughs> I'll take it. I'll take the win. That game was way closer than it should have been at the start. But yeah, that's it, lads. That's it. Oh, it's the last time I'm using my God Squad. Ironically, that's the first time I've also used my God Squad since Kawhi Leonard was a new addition into it before the end of the year. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Good squad. Get really good squad. 
And we're on like a, an eight game winning streak anyway. Um, This season. So, decent way to end the year. So anyway, that's the video. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. I think you only love me cause I'm popping. This a layup, this a rebound, then it's robbing. Tasting with the fade, not the air, my hands rocking. When I link with ball point, you know it's not, not.